Hi everybody, it's me, Editor Chan. Today we'll be talking about a feature added to version 5.7 of the character editor. The Pose Matrix. This tool provides an alternative way to organize and import poses from KKL. If you've seen the video about pose lists and templates, the general process for importing should be familiar, but I'll walk through the features from scratch here. What we've got here is a table with one column, com, and a row for each of my clothing stages, as defined in the wardrobe tab in an earlier video. Each cell represents the com pose for that corresponding stage. Let's go ahead and import the first pose. I've already created myself in KKL, so let's just hit the export button, copy the code, and paste it into the code for the first cell. I'll then press import to convert the code into an image. If you've used pose lists before, this screen will look familiar. Whoops, I left the export window open in KKL. Gets me every time. Okay, so if I import again, once it loads and I can adjust the cropping region to get myself centered just right. Click crop, and okay, the image was created successfully, as shown by the check mark here. You can also see the image here in the preview. Let's grab a code for the next stage really quickly after losing my jacket in KKL. Notice how after filling in the code, but before I've imported, you'll see this little icon indicating that the pose hasn't been imported yet. This makes it really easy to see which poses have been imported or not. Now, I could go through and import each one of these manually the same way, but I'm not going to bother in this video. Instead, let's try something different. First, let's add a new pose and pretend we finished com. The default pose name is happy. Might as well go with that. We've now got a new column labeled happy. Jumping back to KKL, I'll hurry through and make a basic happy pose. I'll grab the code and paste it into the first stage cell, as before. This time, I'm going to show how to bulk import all stages at once. First, by clicking the column header, you get these buttons to import and export lineups. If I click export lineup and wait a bit, then back in KKL you'll see a whole line of me. Hi. The leftmost model is my fully clothed state, next is my lost jacket state, and all the way down to naked on the right. I'll pause the recording for a bit and update each model to match that state, like this. Sorry but I'm not comfortable enough with you yet to totally expose myself. Now that I've got every stage of clothing here at once, it's time to import them back into the editor. First, copy the code like usual. In the editor, with the happy column selected, click import lineup and paste the code into the pop-up. Next, I get this error message because I ignored all of these warnings that say I'm supposed to select all in the export window in KKL. When I follow instructions properly and paste in the new code, you'll see the whole column has now been filled with codes. With a single click I've added all my happy codes except for the final two stages. This is a limitation with lineups based on the fact that KKL can only display 9 models at a time, whereas an 8 layer character would require 11, so you'll have to do these two manually. Anyway, if you select a cell and import it, you'll see that it grabbed the code for the corresponding model from the lineup. Ah, where's my shirt? We haven't actually created images yet. So let's click import new to load in the images for every pose that doesn't have one yet. This can take a while, but once it's done you'll have all your images ready to go for use in game. One thing I forgot before importing was to center my happy pose. I could import each pose individually and adjust it. Or I could type into the fields, but there's a faster way. With a cell that has the desired cropping bound selected, click the apply cropping across column button to copy that to all other rows. Of course, I'll need to re-import everything to actually fix the images, but I'll skip that for this video. Next, I want to demonstrate how the pose matrix also supports templated poses. First, let's add a new sheet to our matrix. Sheets let you organize your poses better versus a single giant table. 
you can use them however you want. You can switch between sheets using the tabs or click the X to delete a sheet. The first pose is always called calm, but we already finished that, so let's name this one mad. Click the column header to rename it. Next, I'm going to grab the lineup I created earlier back in the first sheet by clicking the column header for happy and then clicking export lineup. In the meantime, jumping back to the template sheet, if I click this blank region I can edit sheet-wide properties. One of those is a base code. This works the same as as with templates. Refer to that video if you want more information. With only the filters for physical appearance selected. I'll paste a code into that field. Next, clicking each row header, you'll see a wardrobe code. We could fill these in manually, or like we did with the happy pose earlier, we can import the entire lineup at once. Edit the sheet by clicking the blank space. And then import lineup. This time the guide says to only include clothing filters, so let's do that and paste it in. When I import, each row's wardrobe code gets populated. Finally, I need to actually make my mad pose, so I'll do that really quickly. Back in the editor, I click the column header for mad, and then click import lineup. This time it says to only include the posing related filters. This works like a template's emotion code, so if you need to move belts or image attachments or whatever as part of your posing, you should also include that relevant categories filter. See the template video for an example. With the filter Z, I'll paste the code in and import, and then each cell for MAD gets a code added. If I click a cell and import it, you'll see that the base appearance code, wardrobe code for that row, and pose code are combined to create the final image. Now, to demonstrate the power of templates, let's decide I don't like my appearance, which is defined in the sheet properties. Maybe I'm actually an alien with green skin. All I need to do is update my appearance in KKL. Set the base appearance filters. And update my base code in the sheet. Now, when I import a single pose, you'll see that it is taken on the new appearance, even though I didn't manually make it. Nice. Alien or not, I'm still mad about my shirt missing though, just need to import all again to update the image files. Anyway, that about covers the basics of the pose matrix. If you've created pose lists or templates previously, you can move them to this system using the add to matrix button in those tabs. The pose matrix saves whenever you save your character, so you don't have to worry about forgetting to save it separately like a pose list. Have fun creating, and see you next time.